Hello, I'm Alison from AlisonPsychicSecrets.com. I'm a white witch and spellcaster, and I use the power of magic, the elements, and the universe to help empower others. Hello, I'm Alison. I want to give you a tarot reading that's specifically for Aquarius. Incidentally, the background music you can hear was specifically composed for Aquarius. So here's your Aquarius tarot reading. As an Aquarius, the tarot card that relates to you is that of the Fool. Fool is from the element of air and relates to your zodiac sign of Aquarius, along with other fellow air elements of Gemini and Libra. Look out for fun-loving people from these star signs as they can show the path to many interesting adventures. It is the perfect time to begin something new and perhaps take a risk or a gamble. You seem to have itchy feet and want to start something different and perhaps move to pastures new. It is about turning your back on the old and looking forward to newness, fresh faces and new and perhaps exciting adventures. The Fool card shows that you are a thoughtful person who tends to look carefully before you leave. However, sometimes you may have had your fingers burnt in the past by putting your trust, energy and affection into the wrong people and circumstances. You may be feeling a little restless or uneasy and feel a need for a change in your life and the need to go in a new direction. It's a time to gather all your confidence and check out all the possibilities to make sure you make the right choices. Out of the blue options could unfold for you, particularly connected with the number 22. Events, opportunities and possibilities may unfold for you with elements of the unexpected influencing your choices. Your decisions should focus on the new rather than stamping on old ground. The Fool symbolises an enthusiastic and passionate but naive person eager to set out on his new life path, regardless of what lies ahead. It indicates beginnings or a change of direction. You should expect the unexpected. Be aware that influences coming into play could have a dramatic effect on the decisions and choices you make. It is a time for new beginnings, a journey perhaps into the unknown that will be both exciting and challenging. These challenges will allow you to gain strength and confidence and become a much wiser person. The Fool also suggests that you should have faith in yourself no matter what others might do or say. Work on and develop your creative skills and find ways to express yourself in ways that allow you to be who you truly are without pretense. But the Fool card can also act as a warning to you not to go blindly into a situation without researching all the facts. The Fool can show a need to exercise caution or it could indicate foolhardiness. It warns not to behave in an unrealistic, irresponsible manner. Because both you and the Fool card come from the element of air, I feel you have far more air energy around you now than any other element. As such, you may have a tendency to withdraw into yourself and put up a protective barrier to hide your true feelings from others. You are very intelligent, inventive and imaginative and should use these gifts to make your relationships, surroundings and career goals realistic and achievable. 
Try not to overanalyze things too much. Sometimes it's best to accept that a flower is just beautiful rather than examining its biological components. The same applies to relationships with yourself and others. Except you are what you are, warts and all, and are capable of loving and being loved for all that you are. You have a tendency to be overcritical of yourself and your achievements. This can lead to low confidence and low self-esteem. You need a counterbalance of practical and grounded earth, vibrant and passionate fire, and calm, intuitive emotions of water. Once you have allowed more of these elements into your life, you will begin to see positive changes within yourself. Practical things you can do to help balance your elements. Use less of the colour yellow in your clothing and surroundings. Spend more time in nature, particularly in water. Spend more time in the sunshine. Take a bath instead of a shower. Become more physically active. Eat more spicy foods. Drink more water. Say yes to any invitation to party. Light red candles to add ambience to your room. I hope you enjoyed your Aquarius Tarot reading. If you haven't used my services before, don't forget, I'm a real witch, casting real spells with real results. The spell or spells I will cast for you are cast in love and light with harm to none. They cannot backfire and do not bend the will of anyone. I personally guarantee that I will do my very best for you and you will discover the real secret to abundant wealth, prosperous health and loving happiness. Well, I hope you enjoyed your tarot reading and you can explore my site and look at everything else I have to offer on my site of alizonpsychicsecrets.com. If you want to know more about me, the work I do and the spells I cast, please contact me at my website at alizonpsychicsecrets.com. If you want to know more about me, the work I do and the spells I cast, please contact me at my website of alizonpsychicsecrets.com.